Hey guys, welcome back to Mac 5. Today we are going to be trying out these new Color Street nail polish strips. They're 100% real nail polish strips and I love them. I actually should have shown you the package before I took everything out earlier, but I love them because they are um, so easy to apply and I'm really, really bad at painting my nails. It always looks like a toddler did it. <laughs> So I love these because they just lay on so nice and perfectly, but it's called Color Street and they are 100% real nail polish strips like I said. And when you order them you'll get a little package like this and it comes with all your nail polish strips and it also comes with um, nail prep pads and you'll put this on, you'll wipe your nails down before I'll show you. And it also comes with this little nail file. Don't mind my nails, they're kind of like stained looking because I always have polish on them, but let's go ahead and use this nail prep pad and I'm going to just wipe my nails one by one and get all of the residue or whatever off of my nails so that the nail polish strips will stick to them easier. And they have so many different colors and designs and right now they have like USA designs and they also have sports and different um, glittery colors and things like that. Today I'm just going to apply a basic solid color and this one is actually called, I believe it's London Calling. Yep, this one is called London Calling and it's like a deep like wine red I guess you would say. But I'm also going to use a friend of mine sells these and she sell, sent me these. These are like a sample. I don't know the name of these. What is the name of this one? Let's see. Oh, um, Tokyo Lights. So I'm going to apply, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I'm thinking I'm going to use this maybe for like my ring finger nails. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. And I've used these before and I just sealed up the package because once you're finished, if you have extras, like I always have extras left over, you have to make sure you seal the package so they don't dry out. But, um, so yeah, I've used these before and I super duper love this color. Let me see if I can get these open. All right. And it comes with, I forget how many is total in the package, but it comes with enough for you to do like your fingers and your toes, which I do that often too. Um, or if you don't use them for your toes, you can save them to do like two applications for your fingernails. And also if you have littles, like my daughter Haley is eight and sometimes, you know, her fingernails are really little, so sometimes I'll use the excess for her nails too. She really likes the glitter. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to use the glitter for my ring fingers. And so how this works is, let me move these out of the way so you can get a complete idea, is there's this little clear strip right here. Pull this clear strip off. It's just going to be discarded. And then there's this silver strip that separates the polish strip from the backing. Pull that apart. And then you have your Tokyo lights or whatever color you use. And you're gonna line it up. This is kind of difficult, especially for newbies. It took me a little while to figure out exactly how to do this. So you wanna line it up with your cuticle and then rub side to side all the way down. Now I'm going to use the same strip on both of my ring fingers. So I am going to take some nail clippers and just cut this so that it rips kind of in half so that I'll have this other side for my other finger. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it since I have it. And then I rub it 
press it all along the sides where it's nice and sealed. And then back to this one. So you see how it's kind of like overlapped my fingernail here on the end and on the side. I'm just going to take my thumbnail on this hand and kind of perforate it or like break the polish. if you guys can see that but I'm just kind of breaking the polish with my nail so that it cuts nice and easily I'm gonna do that all the way around a lot of people use the um, the nail file that comes with it and file it off but I found that this works much better for me than filing it off and also when I'm done then I'll use that nail file, but just to get the initial excess off, breaking it with my fingernail is the best way for me. And there's that one so far, and I'm going to um, file them when I'm done and kind of make them look nice and neat. Okay, now we're going to do the middle fingers. So I'm going to peel plastic, peel the strip away from the backing. Gently line it up. Like I said, this is kind of a tough part for me. But, ah, it's crooked. Let's see, line it up, make it straight. down to the end use my fingernail to perforate the edges if I can make it happen <laughs> there we go and then it comes right up like I said all this stuff at the ends it looks crazy right now but I'm going to go and fix it when I'm done Okay, now we're gonna do thumbs. Okay, so now I have my ring finger, my middle finger, and my thumb done on both hands. Now moving on to my pointer finger. All right, so far, these four fingers are done on each hand. They're turning out pretty good, pretty good. And now we're gonna do the pinky finger. All right guys, so here's my Color Street nail strips, fully applied. I like them a lot. I'm not so sure about this sparkly one, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it for now and I must say this is way harder to do when I was trying to videotape it for you guys but normally <laughs> it's not that difficult and now what I'm gonna do which I won't videotape but I'm just gonna put a clear coat over them so that they'll last a little bit longer but I'm pretty happy with them <laughs> so anyways if you guys are interested color street nail strips they're amazing well thank you for watching guys I hope you have a great day bye